in this class we will discuss about kirchhoff rules there are two rules one is called the kirchhoff's first law or junction law the first one is called kirchhoff's current law or first law or junction law so it is also called as you know kcl kirchhoff first law or junction law or it can also be called as kirchhoff's current law or kcl c means current kirchhoff's current law junction rule so this is applicable to any junction first let me give you the statement then i'll explain to you how what is a junction and how you can apply this rule so the first law says at any junction at any junction the sum of the sum of the currents entering the sum of the currents entering the junction entering the junction is equal to is equal to the sum of currents currents leaving the junction or it can also be stated as the algebraic sum of electric currents at any junction of electric circuit is equal to 0 the or it can also be state as you know or i'll write or it can be also stated that the algebraic the algebraic sum of electric currents at any junction at any junction of electric circuit electric circuit is equal to 0 let me read this kirchhoff's first law or junction law or kcl at any junction the sum of the currents entering the junction is equal to the sum of a current leaving the junction or the algebraic sum of electric currents at any junction of electric circuit or electrical network is equal to 0 so first thing is what is a junction junction is a point where we have two or more electrical networks connected for example so this point can be called as a junction where we have two electrical networks like r1 and r2 connected together now we will see how this rule can be applied so for that example we will take uh, a network with a junction with four network elements r1 r2 r3 r4 so let me assume some currents i'll say this is i1 coming in and then i have another current i2 which is also entering the network or junction entering the junction and there is another current i3 which is going out of the junction and let me say i4 is also going out of the junction now according to this rule the sum of currents entering the junction is equal to sum of currents leaving the junction so how many currents are entering we have two currents entering the junction that is i1 and i2 sum of current entering the junction i1 plus i2 will be equal to the currents 
leaving the junction that is i3 and i4 i3 plus i4 or another way is the algebraic sum of electric currents at any junction of electric circuit is equal to 0 we have four currents let us assume some uh, sign for the incoming current and outgoing current so we'll say the incoming currents are positive then definitely the outgoing currents you can take it as negative we have two incoming currents that is i1 and i2 therefore i1 plus i2 and we have two currents outgoing current because incoming currents are taken as positive the outgoing current you can take it as negative therefore this equation is can also be written as i1 plus i2 minus i3 minus i4 is equal to 0 thus algebraic sum of all the currents at a junction is 0 this you can apply for uh, any network now for example let us take another circuit wherein we have resistors and emfs let us say this is r1 r2 r3 and this is e and then i have another so this is e1 e2 e1 and e2 now in this type of network if the current directions are not given you have to assume it for each branch assume one current let me say this is i1 i1 and when it comes here let us say this current is going out i2 and this current is also going out of this junction these are the current directions we assume so whenever a network is given what you do is mark currents through each circuit element say i1 i2 i3 and uh, let us assume the arrow direction gives us uh, the current direction so those arrows we just assume it so after solving the network like after so solving the currents if i turns out to be negative that means that the actual current direction whatever you have assumed as wrong the current is actually flowing in the opposite direction if it comes out to be positive it means that the assume direction is correct so at this junction you can write for this network at junction a you can write it as the current i1 is entering and other two currents are leaving so i1 is equal to i2 plus i3 this is about kirchhoff's first law or kcl now we'll see which of second law or it is called as voltage law or voltage law or it is also called as loop rule kvl or kirchhoff's i'll write it as law number 2 rule number 2 of second law second law or loop rule or it is also called as Kirchhoff's voltage law KVL let us first write the statement the algebraic sum of the algebraic sum of j 
changes in potential around any closed loop involving involving resistors and cells in the loop is zero the important is it is applicable for a loop or a closed circuit the statement says the algebraic sum of changes in potential around any loop which includes resistors and cells is equal to zero or it can also be stated as in any closed loop the the algebraic sum of emfs of cell and the product of currents and resistance is always equal to zero it can also be stated as or in any closed loop closed loop the algebraic sum of emf algebraic sum of emfs of cells em of cells and the product and the product of currents and resistance is always equal to 0 is always equal to 0 so this can be written as the sum of emfs of cells plus sum of ir drops that is current multiplied by resistor is equal to 0 now consider uh, is closed loop something like this r1 r2 given e2 let us say current i is flowing in this network like this now how do we apply kirchhoff's second law while applying kirchhoff second law the sign conventions are very important so remember these sign conventions now this is the cell e so if this is minus plus and when you write the rule or when you apply the rule in this direction that is from left to right or from a to b the arrow indicates how you are applying the rule the direction in which you go around the loop that is important so when you go around this loop we always take this emf as plus e or voltage rise when you go from negative to positive it is plus e but if you are applying the rule or if you are tracing the circuit in a direction opposite to this this is minus this is plus so if you are writing the equation in the opposite direction that is if you are going in an emf from plus to minus so the error indicates you are going from plus to minus in that case this is taken as minus e so the sign convention is very important so this is taken as minus e this is the sign convention for emfs then what about the sign conventions for the resistor r let us say the current i is flowing in this direction 
so in case of r the circuit element the current entering terminal is generally is taken as plus the current leaving terminal is minus now in this case if you are tracing the circuit in the direction of along the direction of current i along the direction of current i then i i drop so if you see the here we are going from plus to minus when you go from plus to minus it is considered as voltage drop and hence this sign is minus minus i into r now let us say the current is flowing in the same direction we have r over here this is plus minus but you are tracing the circuit in the opposite direction when the arrow indicates like this that means we are going from minus to plus minus to plus it is actually taken as voltage rise so this will become plus i r i into r the voltage drop is now i into r and the sign is plus so remember for a resistive element if you are going along the direction of the current then it becomes minus if you are going in the direction opposite to the current direction it will become plus but for an emf if you are going from negative to positive it is plus c from positive to minus it is minus c so using this kind convention let us apply kvl for this equation uh, so, so not the equation sorry this circuit so in this circuit let us name this as a b c d a so in loop so in the closed loop a b c d a now this is current i is flowing in this direction so we are going in the direction of the current itself now start from e1 for e1 we are going like this so this will become plus e1 and r1 so we are going along the direction of the current so it will be minus minus i into r1 similarly for r2 also the current direction is i here therefore it is minus i into r2 and then e2 when you come at to this point i e2 so we are actually going from plus to minus plus to minus plus to minus gives the sign minus so this is minus e equal to 0 or it uh, this is e2 or it can also be written as e1 minus e2 equal to i into r1 plus i into r2 e1 minus e2 equal to i into r1 plus i into r2 this sign convention is important and this is how we apply sign convention for KVL. We will use the same sign convention here onwards for all the sums.